artificial intelligence has become a central part of our modern world, from virtual assistants on our phones to cutting-edge research in robotics and healthcare. But AI wasn't always this advanced, nor was its path to success a straight line. Today, we're going to explore the fascinating history of AI, how it evolved from theoretical musings to the sophisticated systems shaping the future. We'll dive into its early origins, its challenges and triumphs, and where it might be headed in the decades to come. AI's conceptual roots stretch back to the mid-20th century, a time when computing was in its infancy and minds were already racing with futuristic ideas. One of the key figures at this time was Alan Turing, a British mathematician and computer scientist who is often referred to as the father of modern computing. In 1950, Turing asked a profound question in his paper, Computing Machinery and Intelligence. Can machines think? This was a bold question in an era when computers were still room-sized machines handling basic calculations. Turing didn't just ask the question, he proposed an answer. He introduced the Turing test, a way of measuring a machine's intelligence based on whether it could convincingly imitate human responses during a conversation. If a machine could engage in a conversation without revealing it was non-human, then, Turing argued, it could be considered intelligent. Meanwhile, computing technology was progressing rapidly. The work of John von Neumann, who laid the foundations for modern computer architecture, enabled the creation of machines that could be programmed to execute complex instructions. These early developments created fertile ground for the birth of artificial intelligence. In 1956, a group of ambitious researchers came together at Dartmouth College that would mark the official birth of artificial intelligence as a field of study. John McCarthy, Marvin Minsky, Nathaniel Rochester, and Claude Shannon were the visionaries behind this event, and McCarthy famously coined the term artificial intelligence during the conference. Their goal was to explore how machines could simulate every aspect of human learning and intelligence. This conference sparked a wave of optimism. Early AI researchers believed that, within a few decades, machines could potentially match human intelligence. Early programs like the logic theorist, created by Alan Newell and Herbert Simon, could even solve mathematical problems, proving that machines could handle tasks considered to require intelligence. However, the excitement of the early days was met with the reality that making machines truly think like humans was far more challenging than anticipated. Still, this period laid the groundwork for the field, with the promise of intelligent machines inspiring a new era of research. Following its birth, AI research focused heavily on symbolic AI, or GFAI, good old-fashioned AI. Researchers believe that if they could create rules and manipulate symbols in logical ways, they could model human reasoning. AI systems were programmed to follow rules and manipulate data symbolically, aiming to replicate human problem-solving processes. During this time, one of the most famous AI programs was ELISA, 1966, developed by Joseph Weizenbaum. ELISA simulated conversation using simple pattern matching and created the illusion of understanding. It was a breakthrough in natural language processing, though its limitations were quickly revealed. However, symbolic AI faced numerous challenges. As problems became more complex, systems couldn't handle the variability and uncertainty of the real world. For instance, even small deviations from predefined rules could completely derail AI programs. This led to growing skepticism about the ability of symbolic AI to achieve the lofty goals envisioned by early pioneers. By the 1970s, the limitations of AI had become clear, and funding for research began to dwindle. The over-optimism of the early years collided with the harsh reality that creating true intelligence was more difficult than anticipated. This period, known as the AI winter, saw reduced interest and investment in the field. While symbolic AI hit a wall, some areas of research continued to show promise. Expert systems, 
which were AI programs designed to simulate the decision-making abilities of human experts, became popular in the 1980s. These systems, such as mycin, were used to diagnose medical conditions or make predictions in specific fields by drawing on large databases of knowledge. However, even expert systems had their limits. They could only operate within narrow domains and lacked the flexibility of human reasoning. The AI winter persisted through the late 1980s, with many researchers pivoting to other fields or scaling back their expectations. Despite the setbacks, AI was far from dead. By the late 1980s, researchers had begun to explore a new approach, machine learning. Instead of manually programming rules into AI systems, machine learning allowed computers to learn from data. This shift marked a turning point for AI, as it allowed systems to improve over time, creating more adaptive and flexible solutions. Key to this resurgence was the re-emergence of neural networks, which had been introduced decades earlier, but were largely ignored. These networks, inspired by the structure of the human brain, had the potential to recognize patterns and learn from input data. Backpropagation, an algorithm that allowed neural networks to adjust and improve through feedback, was developed in the 1980s and helped bring neural networks back into the spotlight. The 1990s saw AI gain mainstream attention once again, particularly with IBM's Deep Blue, which made history by defeating world chess champion Garry Kasparov in 1997. This victory demonstrated AI's ability to handle strategic decision-making in complex environments. The 2000s saw the explosion of big data and massive increases in computational power, which paved the way for a new era in AI, deep learning. Deep learning, a subset of machine learning, uses artificial neural networks with many layers of abstraction, allowing machines to process vast amounts of data with unprecedented accuracy. One of the pivotal moments in deep learning history occurred in 2012 at the ImageNet competition, where a deep learning model designed by Jeffrey Hinton's team significantly outperformed traditional methods in image classification. This breakthrough sparked a renewed interest in AI, especially in applications involving visual recognition, speech processing, and natural language understanding. Another major milestone came in 2016, when Google DeepMind's AlphaGo defeated world champion Lee Sedel in the ancient and complex game of Go. Unlike chess, Go has more possible moves than atoms in the universe making it a massive challenge for traditional AI approaches. AlphaGo's victory was hailed as a significant leap forward in AI's ability to master creative and abstract thinking. Today, AI is all around us, whether it's in the form of virtual assistants like Siri and Alexa, self-driving cars, or AI-driven recommendations on platforms like Netflix and YouTube. Modern AI systems are capable of tasks that were once thought impossible, from medical diagnostics to autonomous vehicles. But with these advancements come new challenges. The rise of AI has brought ethical questions to the forefront. Issues such as AI bias, privacy concerns and the potential impact of AI on jobs have sparked heated debates. Additionally, the development of artificial general intelligence, AGI, machines capable of Performing any intellectual task a human can remains a distant but heavily debated possibility. As AI continues to evolve, its potential to revolutionize industries, reshape societies, and redefine our understanding of intelligence is undeniable. However, the need for responsible development and regulation grows more urgent as AI's influence expands. So, what does the future hold for AI? While it's impossible to predict with certainty, several areas of research are likely to shape AI's trajectory. Quantum computing promises to unlock new levels of computational power, potentially enabling even more advanced AI models. Reinforcement learning will continue to improve AI's ability to navigate complex environments, and generative AI 
will push the boundaries of creativity, as seen with models like GPT-4 and DALL-E. The quest for artificial general intelligence, a machine that can perform any intellectual task a human can, remains one of AI's ultimate goals. While we are still far from achieving AGI, each breakthrough brings us closer to machines that can think, learn, and adapt in ways we could once only imagine. The history of AI is a story of ups and downs, from early dreams of intelligent machines to setbacks and breakthroughs that redefined what's possible. Today, AI is more powerful and widespread than ever, and its future promises even more exciting and potentially transformative developments. As we continue to explore the potential of AI, we must also navigate the ethical challenges it presents, ensuring that this technology benefits humanity as a whole. Thanks for joining us on this journey through the history of AI. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe for more deep dives into the fascinating world of technology and science.